Okay, this will be an interesting one. Let's see what we can do with this. Going at 141.4 for this. Okay, let's see what we have. Uh, it is William the Conqueror and the Normans. So this is some kind of history book, magazine, or some kind of royalty to do with William the Conqueror and whoever he was. And this is what we're interested in, this picture here. This, if you look closely, it's heavily pixelated, which is what, what appealed to me about it so I'm going to use this pixelated image I'm just going to line it up over the edge just going to sorry about the bad camera work I'm trying to make this look nicely framed so William the Conqueror I don't I never really got into well school wasn't a place where I enjoyed and, and learning about history isn't really going to prepare you for the open, for the employment or the life's experiences. You know, you, you learn this shit at school and then you forget about it and you don't have any fucking use for it. You know, maybe if you... Yeah, that looks interesting. I think we've got to move it, move it up a bit or further up, whatever. I think I've got to move it up this way. Actually... Yeah, I do have to move it this way. So basically, yeah, I just don't understand what all this heavy baggage you have to learn at school. You know, history does not have a use uh, for everyday living. It doesn't have a use, really. Unless you want to become a historian, but historians are not history... There are not many jobs in that area. It's one of those careers where you dream about, that some people dream about, and they're just not something that you can actually typically find. Um, wondering where the centre of this job is going to be. Thinking it's going to be there. So, yeah, there's just not enough jobs in that field. To, you know, maybe to be a history teacher, you know? Maybe wondering... Maybe to be a history teacher, um, it's not easy trying to find work in this day and age. All this automation and all that sort of thing. Uh, so you've got to be prepared for a highly competitive labour market, folks. You have to be prepared to, um, to work at it. Uh, there's not enough, you can't just get your dream job these days. You got to basically be ready, and it's highly competitive, and it's a it's a real it's a place. The workplace of today is a potential to shatter, shatter your dreams. The rich people are terrible. Uh, they can be real tyrannical type people, and they push you around. They bully you. You think bullying at school is bad? Fuck! I got bullied. I've been bullied in the workplace too. And I'll tell you what, it's not a nice thing, but it happens, folks. So don't dream too much about your dream job yet because with automation and that sort of shit, well, what can I say? Even white-collar jobs are under threat by automation. It's these greedy pigs who can buy machinery and, and sack their, their staff. I mean, no, that's not good enough. So you got to be, you know, school isn't going to prepare you for that shit. That's an example of the shit that you have today. Uh, when I was young, things were a lot better. Uh, even under a, in a recession, it was still okay. But, you know, there wasn't so much automation and, and all that. So things were a lot better back then. Um, not so much now. 
But you got to dream. You still have to have dreams, folks. Um, I'm not going to be building my photocopier until I overcome the industry. Uh, again, full of tyrants. That's another story, folks. But this looks nice. I think now we can call this demo history.